Hey, how is going on guys? You're watching a MS Information YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about Roblox game mod. So let's get started. You might not believe me when I tell you that this game that you're looking at right now, which you may have mistaken for say Call of Duty, is actually Roblox. I know. Now I saw a recent viral tweet by Creek Craft about this game and I just had to know if it was real. So I installed it, and it actually is. It's called Frontlines, and it's an experience created by Maximilian, a Roblox game studio that seems like it's run by a handful of young indie developers. Frontlines is more or less Call of Duty 4 that you can play in a browser. It runs like butter has decent visuals, and amazingly the gameplay isn't bad. Now this is my first experience with Roblox anything. And I have to say it's way better than I thought it was gonna be. The gunplay is surprisingly competent, which is actually hard to do in any video game let alone the Roblox engine. It's clear that Roblox has something going on under the hood that makes it perfectly suited for more of a classic arcade FPS feel. The guns in time to kill are pretty snappy without feeling too hardcore the movement is fast and twitchy, but still grounded enough that you don't feel like you're playing an arena shooter. And of course, I had to peruse some of the other Roblox experiences, and they were generally more well-crafted than I thought they were going to be. But obviously what's its front lines apart from the other? Typical Roblox experiences is the visuals. If I hadn't told you what game you were watching I would imagine most of you would have thought it was something like on the Unity engine, or maybe the Unreal engine. But somehow, the devs have managed to make this game in Roblox. Clearly they've been busy creating tons of unique maps and assets for the game. I wouldn't go as far as saying that this is like the next Call of Duty or anything like that. And I certainly wouldn't expect somebody to be able to make a Battlefield clone that looks this good anytime soon. But I would say that if you're a veteran fan of Call of Duty you'll be able to jump into Frontlines and feel right at home. Now when it comes to the progression system I imagine dedicated Roblox players will cruise through the ranks and front lines fairly quickly. But it feels like a bit of a grind. There's only 7 primary weapons and 3 secondary weapons to unlock that are spread out over 63 levels. There is at least a weapon attachment system that includes barrels, receiver stocks, optics, multiple handguard positions, magazines, grips, and more, and there's also a skill system with three slots and each slot has multiple options that seem pretty big in terms of the actual gameplay impact. But again, they're locked behind a grind that goes over 60 levels. They include stuff like silent footsteps, healing on kills, not appearing on enemy radar, and one that slows enemies down and their healing when you actually shoot them. In the few hours that I've played even though I unlocked the M4, I was nowhere near unlocking any meaningful attachments for either the MP5 or MP4. That said the starting MP5 and M4 are both solid all-around weapons, and the TPK is so fast that your reaction time will matter more than what weapon you're running with. Currently there's 5 different game modes, Team Death Hatch, Kill Confirmed, King of the Hill, and Domination the maps and modes are voted for at the end of each round so it's likely you'll be playing the same modes fairly regularly without the option to queue up in specific servers via matchmaking. There's no sort of rank mode or skill rank so you're really just kind of grinding for unlocks and the enjoyment of the game. That said I imagine if you eventually get everything unlocked there's probably some actual decent loadout building options. As for the maps there's currently 4 in Rotation Launch, Canyon, Factory and Cavalcade. And while the biomes and general feel of each map could be different their layouts are pretty darn similar, there's generally one large open area surrounded by two outer pathways and one central path that's a bit more exposed running through the middle of the map. Also the maps tend to be a bit more claustrophobic compared to a typical map. From the recent Call of Duty games, one interesting thing to note is that Front Lines is available for PC, consoles, and mobile devices since Roblox supports all of them natively. I didn't test the other platforms out but based on the developer's footage of the mobile version it actually looks like a fairly full-featured experience. Now of course, there are more rough spots to this Roblox COD clone visibility is a bit of a problem on some maps. 
and it gets even worse during gunfights. Half of the time, I got into a medium or long range firefight. I'm just kind of shooting blindly at the suggestion of an enemy. Some of the atmospherics could also be turned down a bit so the characters and the environment don't blend together so much. In close range, all the muzzle and hit effects act like mini flashbangs that can kind of make it hard to track your targets. Now another concern is cheaters. It seems like almost every match I was in there was hackizations being thrown around and oftentimes it felt like enemies retract me through the walls or knew where I was going to be at all times. In fairness, the mini map and front lines reveals enemy locations nearly 100% of the time so it's not hard to follow the red dots around. Regardless of whether or not there's cheating going on everyone thinks there's cheating. So they're definitely replicating the classic COD feeling. LOL now the devs do actually have a fairly extensive road map available on Trello that includes some big improvements. Like better anti-kit, map lighting improvements, tons of bug fixes and balance changes, updated audio new guns and more all currently in development. The developers are also pretty proactive about releasing updates as Frontlines gets bug fixes and exploits resolved on almost a daily basis. That said it doesn't seem like they have any future maps that are publicly announced yet. It certainly wouldn't shock me to see new maps on the horizon at some point soon. But the lack of map variety is probably the game's biggest sore spot. If you actually want to put some time into it, now up until I saw that viral tweet, Roblox was always more of a meme than a game to me. A very profitable, insanely popular meme. One that has captured the time and attention of millions of kids around the world, but has rarely piqued my adult gamer interest. But now that I've had some time with front lines, I think it's safe to say that Roblox can potentially offer way more advanced experiences than I thought possible. Sadly, Frontlines doesn't really have that much content, so comparing it directly to any COD experience and is really going to lose. But it is totally free playable on multiple platforms and seems to slot directly into that ADD approach of that Roblox experience. Play something that's free, get bored and move on to the next free thing. Just generally speaking, I expect the experiences to look more like a poor man's Minecraft, not Call of Duty from 2007. Now it's hard to know if games like this will ever become massive successes on the Roblox platform, but who knows really this could be somebody's first introduction to a modern FPS experience, their gateway FPS if you will. Especially since the platform generally caters to kids it's probably also an excellent game to have on your resume as a developer, so it could definitely lead to bigger and better things for a Maximilian now as Frontline is going to sway a seasoned, console, or PC gamer over to play this instead of their preferred shooter almost certainly not. It's a lesser experience in most ways, but that's not to say that it's a bad game it's impressive for what it can do with the Roblox platform, and it's free, and it's on most platforms, which is pretty cool it's possible that someday, if the devs keep fleshing it out with more guns, more maps, more stuff that it could actually be an interesting free competitor to the standard AAA shooter, we'll have to. Wait and see. I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on this game. The whole concept of Call of Duty and Roblox is kind of wild. Have you played it? Do you know anyone who plays it? And also this channel right here is the number one best channel for all the games, news, leaks, gameplays, trailers, and innovations of all the upcoming games as well. So if that is something you guys are interested in then, make sure to go like and subscribe to my channel right down below by clicking that subscribe button and turning the notifications on. And the most important step of all make sure that you guys are sending your notification settings to all. Because if we don't do this, apparently YouTube it's a broken platform, they don't send you guys notifications of all the daily videos that I upload. And there are so many good videos I upload every single day on all the upcoming games that I honestly think that you guys are gonna just love it. And you don't want to be missing out on all of those content. So make sure the notification settings are set to all. And if you guys like what you have seen so far from the gaming news then drop a big fat like on this video and also kind of does help support the channel it kind of does help me as a creator 
in order to boost my confidence to make better videos for you guys every single day. So your support is absolutely appreciated. And with the being said, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you guys oh tomorrow's video until then take it easy fams and goodbye.